This is BBC News. The headlines at midday. The Prime Minister contradicts Labour's claims that the cross-party deal on press regulation will be underpinned by law. It's not statutory underpinning. What it is is simply a clause that says politicians can't fiddle with this, so it takes it further away from politicians, which is actually, uh, I think, uh, a sensible step. The deal comes as the Sun newspaper admits accessing a stolen mobile phone belonging to the Labour MP, Siobhan McDonough, to obtain her personal information. In Cyprus, public anger continues. Parliament postpones a vote on tax on savings to be imposed as a condition for the EU's €10 billion Euro bailout. A £2 billion investment is announced in the aerospace industry, securing 115,000 jobs nationwide. Also coming up in the next hour, ten years on since the Iraq invasion, we'll be reporting on how the day-to-day -day lives of Iraqis have changed. And lights out at Television Centre for news. The final hour of broadcasting from here as the show goes on at her new home at Broadcasting House from one o'clock. Hello, good morning. David Cameron has contradicted Labour claims that a new deal on regulation of the press will be underpinned by law. He was speaking after Labour leader Ed Miliband and the Lib Dem leader Nick Clegg both welcomed the deal, which was struck in the early hours of today. 